Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today I am going to talk a bit about GNSS module. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System and this is mainly to use for getting the positions for navigation and to get the time. So the main role of GNSS to provide positioning, navigation and timing services on the global or regional basis. So with the help of this kind of module, we are receiving the very accurate positions in our phones, tablets, laptops and in other devices. Let's go further and try to understand what are the different technologies used in this kind of very accurate positioning system. So let me open a GNSS model. Uh, let me open a Quetel GPS model. So any random one I am just opening it to get the clarity what and all is used there. Let me open this GNSS L89 revision 2.0. Here you can see this is having antenna GNSS model, its dimension they have mentioned, how many grams it is and what are the positioning services are provided by this model. So this chip provides GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, which in short BDS, IRNSS, Galileo, QJSS. Let us just have a look of each of ones. The search for GPS. So you'll get here. This is a global positioning system, which is controlled by which country? The operator you can see here. It's a US space force. So this is controlled by US. And if you read a bit, the global positioning system originally is a satellite based radio navigation system owned by the United States government and operated by whom? United Space Force. Similarly, just see for GLONASS. So GLONASS, if you search, this is also a global navigation satellite system in which orbit it is so you can see here it's at 11,900 miles altitude with 64.8 degree inclination and period of 11 hours and 15 minutes and it is controlled by Russia and they are saying it is accurate as 2.8 to 7.3 meters so the accuracy will vary in this range and to further correct there is one more technology is used which we'll see later so we are seeing now this gps is controlled by us clonus is controlled by russia so different different countries have launched their own gnss system or we can say navigation satellite systems this bds which is a baidu is operated by china so i'll just open it for a glance bds bds gps if you search you will get baidu navigation satellite system is a chinese satellite navigation system and here also you can see the accuracy how much accurate it is on global level its accuracy can vary up to 3.6 meters but in the asia pacific region its accuracy is much higher which is 2.6 meters and similarly this one IRNSS this navigation system is controlled by if you just search for IRNSS by ISRO you can see here ISRO the Indian regional navigation satellite system is an autonomous regional satellite navigation system that provides accurate real-time positioning and timing services it covers India and region extending 1500 kilometer around it. So it provides positioning system. Its accuracy is around 5 meters. Similarly Galileo. Just search for Galileo. So here I have opened different different positioning navigating systems so that you can have a feel of it. How many countries are having their navigation satellite system. Galileo is global navigation satellite system that went through life in 2016 
and created by whom European Union through the European Space Agency and its accuracy is very good one meter next is QZSS this is a Japanese navigation satellite system so these are the different navigation satellite system developed by different different countries so till now we understood that this GNSS module will receive different inputs from individual navigation systems like it will receive signal from GPS it will receive from GLONASS also it will re receive from Baidu's also it will receive from IRNSS also Galileo also from which it is getting the strength of that signal it will collect all the data into it and based on this data actually this GNSS model will further correct it and how it corrects that also you'll come to see now so I'll talk about that first then I'll talk about its other features so let me concentrate over there so this point you can see in the key feature you can see here the second point reception of as best broadcast signal if you search for this as best broadcast signal then let's see what you got as best broadcast signal okay so what is as best broadcast signal the performance of gnss module can be improved by regional satellite based augmentation system so this as best means satellite based augmentation system which improves the performance of gnss model what it does it basically collects data from different navigation system and it will correct those data such as the european geostationary navigation overlay services which is called ignos so as best improves the accuracy and reliability of gnss information by correcting signal measurement errors by providing information about accuracy integrity continuity and ability of its signal you can see here this as best which is satellite based augmentation system is implemented and owned by different different countries like usa own vas wide area augmentation system japan japan owns mss mishibishi satellite augmentation system india india owns gagan china owns baidu south korea owns cas russia owns hdcm and so on so with this process of sbas it corrects those data and and gives very accurate position okay so we understood genesis model supports different navigation system that you can see in first point key features multi genesis engine for gps glonus galileo vdh qzss and navic second point is reception of sbs broadcast signal which will correct those data and third one it is saying about its feature it supports patch antenna so this is more specific to the module antenna detection and antenna short circuit protection function this is a good feature that it provides improved sensitivity through low noise amplifier edge and how the data will be communicated to the connected processor or microcontroller so it can be talked with uart or i2c interface this gnss model also supports a very interesting feature which is called agnss what is agnss it is assisted sorry agnss it is assisted gnss what it means basically it assists gnss model so what happens at the starting time or warming up time when our gnss model is up so that time it has to receive data from satellite and what data about the orbit and different information about the satellite so those data has to be transferred to this gnss model and if this data is received from this satellite directly and 
because this transfer rate is very slow it is around 50 bit per second you can see here satellite signal is only 50 bit per second so downloading orbital information like ephemeral dash and the almanac directly from the satellite typically takes long time and if the satellite signal are lost during this period acquisition period then the whole transaction will be discarded and in the next time again it has to start from the beginning so to solve this problem these orbital information of these satellites are stored in a gps server you can see here these are servers which will store its orbital informations which will be transferred to these GNSS model via radio network. So these assistance information you can see here is provided to this handset model. So this is how this assisted GNSS model will decrease a starting time or warming up time of this GNSS models very significantly. I'll take two or three more minutes to just show what what kind of data basically it will provide us so these are uh, provided in the anime formats if you search for anime data format you'll get those data what and all the data you will receive from here so you can uh, check anything just uh, anime data or something you will get it here i'll just show if you have any doubt you can just uh, write your comment downside i'll try to answer those so what kind of data it can provide you can see ZLL, RMA recommended loan and data, RMC. So the, these information will be provided here. And if you go and check each ones, you'll get the detail of those packets. What and all uh, you will receive there, like I'm going to this uh, GGA packet. See, it will come like this, GP, GGA. Here this, you will get these kind of packets there. It will come in a, a string. So you can just filter over there. If GGA is present there, you will understand, okay, this is the GGA packet. And second one will tell the fix taken at this timestamp, 12 hour, 35 minutes and 19 seconds. The third information. So you can just separate it using these commas. You'll get uh, different, different uh, indexes you, you can call. So this is the zeroth index, this is the first index, this is the second index, and next second index is uh, latitude, then third index is longitude, and uh, so on. And this one, fourth one, if its value is zero, that is, it's an invalid packet. If it is, it, if its value is one, then it's a GPS fixed packet. You just go over these packet information, and if you have doubt and and if you want some more information, you just uh, let me know in the comment box. I'll try to make another video or I'll try to answer those in the comment itself. Thank you so much for watching this video.